film Predator 2 is, in my opinion, a step down from the original movie. There are a lot of things I find wrong with this film, but one of those is being this is not really a true sequel to the original Predator. And when I say this movie isn't a true sequel, Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't even return for a sequel. In fact, Dan Glover plays the main lead as an LAPD officer who comes across the Predator. And from there, the film just gets all kinds of crazy. Unlike the original film, the Predator takes place, or should I say Predator 2, takes place in a city. I always thought the uh, Predator speeches works better as a jungle setting. At least that's what I was led to believe over the years. The character really don't work in a city because that's not his natural surrounding. The film works better the way it did in the original. And this one, it, it's all out of place to me. I mean, I think Dan Glover does a good job for what he has to work with, but he is no Arnold Schwarzenegger. This film could have been something special, but it just wasn't. If you haven't seen this movie, check it out if you're really curious. But if you haven't, then you're going to be pretty bored with it. On social network, would have returned for a sequel. Him not being there is definitely missing in this film. Now, Dan Glover is not that bad of an actor, but he's not that great in this film. I mean, he's alright, but without on social network's presence there, this movie makes no sense to me. I mean, why the hell they didn't just follow a sequel or fall years later with the character Dutch? I think that would have been a better sequel if it would took place in, well, years later, but in a jungle setting, once again. But I guess they try to do something different here. But for me, it just doesn't work. The story's okay. The action is all right for what it is. And you see one Easter egg in this film, and that is an alien head, which we wouldn't see the crossover between those two characters till 2004. But nonetheless, this film is alright, but it's definitely missing in a lot of aspects of what the original had. Okay, on scale 1 to 10, I'm giving this film a 6. Not the worst film, probably in this franchise. But I think this movie could have been a lot better if Arnold Schwarzenegger was in it. And the story was more craft to what the original had. I mean, you can't just go from what you had in the original to this. The, the prayer species never ever works in a city setting. I mean, just look at Alien vs. Predator, uh, Rick and And you see in that film... The prayer just feels out of place, and that's the same case here. You just don't see any connections to the original film. I mean, this is not a horrible, horrible movie. It's okay for what it is, but it's not great either. The original movie is a classic. This is so missing. I like to think this film was the reason it took them 20 years to do prayers. And that's why the series is stuck in development hell for so long. But nonetheless, um, this film could have been a lot better. And that's my review of Predator 2. Now leave a comments down in the section below. Let me know what you think about this film. Do you think it's bad? Or is it one of your favorite films? For me personally, this film doesn't live up to the hype of what the original had. And that's sorely lacking. Dan Glover does okay for, for what he was given in this movie. But he clearly is nowhere near on the level of Arnold Schwarzenegger. A lot less a story, a different setting, and a film that no way compares to the original. This movie is clearly lacking, like I said before. All right, up next is my review of Predators, and I think that film is an improvement, but I'll get into that in my next review. All right, this is Slim Guy 172 saying, peace out.